guys, it's Ta. Welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate you. So today we're going to look at two library books that I have recently read and um, I enjoyed. So let's take a look. The first one is American Queen by Sierra Simone. Um, this is a trilogy, but so far I've only read the first one. Um, and if you guys remember a while back, I read something else by Sierra Simone. And I, I was just kind of thrown off by it, but I went ahead and got this one and I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, it's kind of based, I guess you would say, on like King Arthur's Court. Um, what is it? Camelot, that type thing. So in this book, we have the main character, there's three main characters, but the point of view is from Greer. Um, she is okay let me try that again this book the main point of view is Greer and then the other two books that are after this are the other two main characters which is Emery and Ash and Greer has always been raised in American politics um, her grandfather was a vice president to um a, a ter so many terms before and so she's always been in the midst of politics and when she is young unfortunately um, her parents do pass and so her grandfather raises her so she becomes like his second pair of eyes and she's all about the politics so she is sent off to boarding school and she's also put in charge of being her cousin um, Abilene which she calls her Abby um, her guard, I guess you would say, like her person, like that's who she's got to take care of because Abby makes some ridiculous choices sometimes and Greer, even though she is not for those choices, she still sticks by her cousin to get her out of those situations. So Greer winds up meeting this guy named Ash at a party and it is an age gap MMF and it's erotica and it's amazing. So she meets him, she's not 18 yet, and they kind of start like this relationship, but it's like one-sided on, you know, her side only, he's in the military, and he's being, he's being groomed for greater things. And then we have like a huge time gap between like their first interaction and then when it happens again. Um, and then he is now the president of the United States, and his best friend is the vice president, and she has a history with both of them. So we get to see how over the year, over the timeline of them being um, separated, you know, not everyday type stuff, how their relationship grows and whatnot. But um, she does become his wife. That is the very first thing that you read about when you start the book. And it also says it on the back like she is she's here to serve the president and it is a wonderful love triangle um very good sex scenes and stuff like but it's not so much like the, yes there's a lot of sex in the book but it's not so much that it takes away from the main storyline what is there and when she was the thing that makes her so great is when she was younger merlin was a presidential advisor around the same time that her grandfather was the vice president and he told her that um, basically she was special she needed her his sound advice was to keep her kisses to herself because if not something would happen or whatever and she took that to heart and she buckled down and did what she needed to do to basically get her life to where it is right now and whoo this book y'all I enjoyed it like I listened um, you know I read with it while I listened to it because the audiobook I enjoyed that uh, very well read on there and I am definitely gonna be getting the next two books in this series very soon because I need to know what happens next because this, I'm not gonna lie this one ended on a cliffhanger like such a huge cliffhanger and I just need to know what's gonna happen next like I'm so interested I feel like I was watching this live like that's how good it was written and 
don't get me wrong the other book that i read by her it was well written I, just the characters annoyed me so bad and like the story itself was really off but this one i find so much better definitely worth a read if you want something kind of erotic or you know bdsm type thing so definitely check it out okay and the next one was my husband's wife by jane corey this one is kind of in the middle um certain parts of it were very intriguing and i wanted to know more but then some parts i'm just kind of like could we have left that out i don't know so this one is about lily who is a new solicitor and she marries ed who is a artist a painter and it was a very quick turnaround on their dating life to their married life and everything seems to be all fine and dandy but then we start learning of lies and things something happened on their honeymoon that kind of like brings them home and they're off to an even more rocky start and she has to start work and she's trying to balance being a new lawyer trying to develop who she is as well as develop a new marriage to keep it kind of going and as we go through this lies upon lies upon lies start popping up well shortly after you know we get into the book or whatever we learn that next door is a little girl named carla she's nine years old and she lives with her mother francesca well um carla was francesca had to work somebody needs to watch carla and she winds up going to stay with lily and ed after a few things had happened and like she spends Sundays with them while their mom or her mom's at work. And it seems like when Carla's there, the tension is not as harsh versus when she's not. Because things are, like I said, kind of rocky in this marriage. But then Lily gets a her first like major case or whatever. She is going to do like a retrial for this guy who was convicted murderer of his girlfriend or fiance however many years prior and so something that happens in between there she kind of is attracted to joe the murderer and like she's not supposed to be but she can't figure out why she is and things are kind of off there but then i just as we go along this book spans like i think 12 13 years of um, time and then we get Carla back as an adult Carla shows back up in their lives and like she's still kind of that little glue that holds it too because they're still rocky as hell they had a child all this stuff and um Carla comes in and things just get even weirder and <sighs> It was crazy the way the ending kind of happened. Like, that was probably my favorite part is the way whenever the the twist happened and then we watched that ending come down and then we get to that final solution. Like, that was my favorite part of the entire book. When the big twist started really occurring and then we wound it down. But, like, the rest of the book, some of it just felt like filler. But it is a debut novel, so I'm not hating on the author for that because i've heard that other books by this person are pretty good so i will try another book by this person but for this one i don't know i just kind of felt like some things were all over the place we didn't need some of the information we got because it literally didn't make sense and then some of it it's like it was a whole secondary story that was kind of happening in the background but lots of lies lots of lies in this book so if you like a book where the main like any of the characters lie and then we have to see how long they can get away with that lie before that lie is revealed this is probably the book for you but like i said it was kind of a hit and a miss like i enjoyed some of the book some of the storyline even some of the filler was okay but then it kind of some of it was just a bit much for me but i'd say like three out of five not bad right so, like I said, it wasn't a waste of my time, but it probably could have spent spent the time wisely reading something else. Yeah.
but you live, you learn, and you read. And that's the only way you're going to know if you like something is if you actually read it. So that's what I did. So out of the two books I showed you, this is definitely my favorite out of the two. Um, and I'm definitely going to continue this trilogy. I think the next one is called American Prince, maybe? I think. I think that's what it's called. So I'm definitely going to get that one next because Sierra Simone did a good job on this series thus far. Um, it's just the other book she wrote, which was the, I think it was the Priest series or whatever. I didn't really like the first book for that, so I wasn't going to continue that one. And then, like I said, this one, it was okay. It wasn't the best. It wasn't something to write home about or run out to the store and break your neck to get. But it was an okay read. It had some interesting plot points, but not everything. So that is my latest and greatest checkout. Have you read either one of these? I'm hoping somebody else read this and you guys can tell me it gets even better as we go. Who knows? So I will let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.